Hey, good day, everybody out there, YouTube land and otherwise. Uh, put it this way, it's simple, just getting right into it. It's simple. If I were to go to a, in an, a, a, a village of uh, simple-minded folk, okay, uh, folk that had never really been cultured by the technologies um, that have do not have experience with perhaps um, an extensive library um, and other uh, tools of, of academia. And I, coming from today, from <clears throat> the West into that village, um, I could grossly exploit a people. I don't care if it's uh, a thousand against me. I could grossly exploit those people because what I can do and what I could take it a, a, an occasion to do is to um, use technology all right, to influence that whole village. And specifically, um, I could set the standard for the way, uh, for the efficient an effective way to communicate okay I could teach them these skills and these traits <clears throat> okay so now the first thing I must do if I want to consolidate if I want to harness much power and g gain their respect and allegiance is strip them of their own systems and their own cultures and uh, most importantly their identity take their identity away okay and create the identity I want them to have okay I would create a new type of citizen okay wherein uh Voluntarily, I, I, I could make it seem very much like it has to be voluntary, though. You know, you, no one's forcing you to do anything, okay? But, you know, you're going to miss out on the, benefic the benefits that I have to offer you if you're not willing to get, go, go along with the program that I'm trying to institute, right? And so, you know, I'll, I'll attract them with... Uh, with benefits and with um, what seems to be um, powers, okay? And so, as more people uh, join and pledge in their allegiance and contract with me, then we start to grow and we start to look at the people that do not particular, particularly want to join and we start to distance ourselves from them. Okay, so most specifically though, I would control the record keeping. Okay, I would control the the books that were uh, used as resource or as sources of this information okay I would write statutes codes and ordinances and laws for the village now and I would skew them towards my agenda because I have a plan and I know I'm not going to last forever you know, but I may have children on this in this village. I may pick the most beautiful or um, attractive woman or women <laughs> uh, in the village, right? And I might start to uh, raise a family, and I want my family to remain in power, right? So then I'd probably implement some kind of a system of trust where I can make sure that our family stays in power, 
where I can make sure that no matter what, all the assets and things that I have uh, gained from my agenda stay within my lineage, right? Because what's the whole point? If I'm just going to be there for 50 years, 40, 50 years, 30 maybe, and just to run this scheme and then die and then leave it to somebody else, right? It doesn't make sense. And so, again, I institute some, for some sort of trust situation. So now I have the laws. I'm writing the laws. So wouldn't it be smart and, and wise of me to write the laws in accordance of, with my scheme and to protect my own family? And to make sure that my family uh, keeps all the assets that I've uh, consolidated to date, to, da to date, wouldn't that make sense? All right. So, if I want to build an economy where I stay at the at the, the head of the table, and I'm able to harness and I'm able to glean much wealth off of the backs of the other villagers, okay, I'd have to put together something that stays under my control, something that I predominantly understand alone, so maybe I hire people to help me run it, this economy in the name of public service but maybe I don't tell them everything I just give them enough information and then I redact documents and I tell the talking heads that handle communication with the common folk that certain things are out of scope for you if someone asks this question Tell them you don't know, or tell them it's out of scope, or tell them to submit a FOIA request, Freedom of Inf Information Act, and just keep passing it along. And because there's so many levels to this economy, this public ser uh, civil service, that the people will become frustrated anyways and probably give up, you know. But my education system is going to be uh, enacted in such a way that we won't effectively teach them how to critically think, we'll teach them how to follow commands. All right, so you get where I'm going with this. I just wanted to put a little bit out there just to get your minds going this uh, early morning, this, this, this day. But this is what I contend is going on. I could go on with this uh, parable, <laughs> um, but this is this is exactly what you're facing, what you're dealing with here in the West and other other places now. All right, just something to think about. A little cartoon for you. Use your imagination for the rest. All right. Anyhow, have a great day. I'm going to work out now, Courtney. Now.